I am trolling! Oh my god! I was like... Let me explain myself. I saw the little hammer sign thing and I thought I could make it taller. Fast travel idiot, fuck you. I swear to God. If I fail here, this is a stupid, I'm gonna be honest, this is the dumbest room. Lemon Ham, let's think. It says shatter and has a hammer next to it. I wonder what that could mean. Yep, yeah, it definitely makes it taller. Dipshit 221. Go, baby. Can I make your stomach drop there, little pup? A little bit. I did it. Should I go straight from here, pretty much? He's still in the tutorial area? This is not tutorial area, man. You act like I've been playing for hours and hours. fuck was that? A damn duck? Explain your ba blanket? Are you trying to make a joke? Yeah, I thought it was funny. Got some weed you trying to smoke later? I'm gonna be blazing up in about 45. You should order all your viewers McDonald's for their commitment to supporting you. Or y'all can get your own McDonald's. Play the Last of Us Remaster next to K Champing also chat swag off up. Do not. Why is it always us that has to pitch in the money? I do my share. Y'all do your share. I give you six, eight hours of entertainment every single day. Got a nice little thing working. Don't ruin it. Three hours intro. I never do a three hour intro. Don't say that shit.
Today's intro is not three hours. Uncomfortable. I'm very comfy. We give you entertainment, you fucking loser. What are you talking about? Nope. You're wrong. You're worse than Keemstar. You take that fucking back, bitch. What the fuck? with it. <laughs> uh, is Ross supposed to go? We will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Oh, this is hard. Don't tell me what to do. It's my run. I can make my own decisions. Stamina will be good for scaling mountains. And actually just sprinting in general. I sprint a lot. I don't really need health. I have not struggled with health that much. Most times I've died because of ice and I fell in water. Nothing's really killed me. Wait, it took the four? He better give me the fucking glider. I swear to God. Get up here quickly. It's always something with this guy, isn't it? I don't I actually don't like this guy. How are you going to claim you haven't struggled with health when you've died over ten times in the tutorial? You actually got stamina? Yeah, I did. What's it to you? The man is trying to help you, but he's always playing all these little games. Why is he probably wants me to come up here? Because when he gives me the glider, he wants me to test it. That's what it is. I take it back, man. What's up, bruh? Let's go with it. Time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. 
And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Not for real. Let's give me a damn glider. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own Bob, daughter. Get to work. My dear <coughs> Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself 
and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, Wait, I thought you were Zada. No right to ask this of you, Link. Bro. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. Okay, so let's try to kill the four divine beasts. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shiga slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. People he said there's four guardians or whatever, and then the guy took him over. The, the, they killed everybody, and blah blah blah. Zoto's out of power, and blah blah blah. Something like that. I get it. I don't want to. Oh, I got it! He said head east or west. How do I use the dengue? Destroy Ganon. How do I use it? Oh, that's big. Gonna sneak right on in here, guys. What's up? Get the chest then. Well, dead. What? Really, then? A barber, Borby? Does it look like I need a barber, man? Are fire arrows like really good or something? I don't think I should go try to kill Ganon. It's probably a whole process to even get there. I'm going to waste all this time doing it. I think it's better if I just... Alexa, off. If you do it, you'll quit the game. I'm going to be a pussy. I'm sorry. I know it's the boring way. But, you know, it is what it is. Huh? 
feel like I'm not using the glider efficiently. Are you the reeler, Rob? Suge. Bum bum, bum bum. You will play this for two days and then quit? Who cares? No, I won't. I'm actually having a good time. I can act. I know I say this all the time. I can see myself playing this again on Friday. What is this? Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing IRLs all day tomorrow. Wait, I was just kidding. But the guy won't hit me! Remember when you said you didn't have health issues? I don't have health issues. Have an important question, Lamont. Have you ever had dreams of me dolly hurling that spear into you? Bro. Four out of five. How do you roll? There's gotta be a way you can roll. It's hard to get any word in with Fuck this that guy. He's a prick. Bro, I was really about to rage quit this baby game. I'm not about to rage quit. But there's a nice one. Hunt. Oh, you gotta app Maya, bro. Let's go here. 
Wait, is that the way it came from? Ah! Oh, they're hunting. You see that? That's cool. What the? Sniped his bitch ass. How do I sprint? It's not letting me sprint. It's not, I'm, I don't have a bar. Got roaches in the crib again? Nope. Do it jiggle when you walk. Does what jiggle? Help! Oh my god, it's like the old Zelda games. If I just did the main story, how long does this game take? Fifty hours? I'm never gonna beat this game. What the fuck? I cannot play a f game for fifty hours. Oh, they run and get their weapons. That's sick. I've not played Nuzlocke for 50 hours. I'm about to fuck you up, bitch. Later, motherfucker. Main story is 50 hours. That's probably for y'all because y'all suck at video games though. <coughs> you even gotten the glider See, This is how I know you're stupid. You watch yourself do the shrines? I did good on the shrines. What do you mean? What's that? It did not take me 70 hours to do Red Redemption 2. Oh, it's a flower. Did my weapon break? When do I get the ocarina? I'm stupid. Ignore that. Oh my god. Yellow, can I buy a horse?
<laughs> I am reading. I'm reading in my head because I read faster in my head than I do out loud. Uh, so I, I am reading. I can beat this game in a quarter of the time it took you to do the tutorial, and I'm not even good at it. Do I listen? Why did I read this? I'm a viewer and blind, please read. Oh, he's looking for a cookbook. Alright, I can do that. Oh. I was salivating over food, man. Yeah. I did read that. He was just talking about how delicious the food looked. Or he Sorry, dreamed of eating it one day. Nice car. Perfect. Hey Eric, do you have to jump to get into jeans? No. Yeah. Name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about rupees. I forgot. A broke. Let's sell some shit. What you want, bruh? You want these? Oh. Makes up to prime. Hard to get any word in with this clown. Put an 18 plus tag on your stream. You are showing too much skin with that big ass forehead and feet for free. We Is it don't. worth selling these stuff? Wait, that's actually not bad. I'm gonna sell all this shit. Wow! Three hundo, like that. <coughs> Minus two hours sold. Why do I even bother trying pain? What? Why are you saying pain? Why did I just buy time spot? Uh, I don't care about anything else. What did I sell? I sold an opal. It's an ancient park. Later, nerds. God, I want to get this man a swirly so bad. This game's actually really nice. Why did I not play this before? I remember playing this in high school pain. Oh yeah, because I was scared of puzzles. But the puzzles aren't even hard. Can't play a game for more than ten hours unless it's FIFA. Do I learn a new? Do you get more runes, or is it just that was just a tutorial? So I gotta learn what I ha got in the tutorial and use all the runes together. <laughs> oh. 
Well, let's think, Eric. Look around. Sell that shit. All you people saying this game is easy, I guarantee if you played this or watched any other streamer play this, you would still be stuck here and struggling. Eric is a god at these types of games, he could reach the end his first try if he wanted to. Eric understands games on a level we can't even imagine to be Okay, possible. are you being a smart ass? His mechanics are impeccable. With his theory crafting, his text today will be the future meta. It is amazing we get to live in a time with the king of games. Hard game, by the way. Nobody said this is hard. You didn't say it's hard, but you said I couldn't do it. Mac Rage quit at this shrine? No way. talking about baby this shit's not hard that there's no way Michaela failed right there I did not struggle on that for a second what do I get oh spirit over this right it's a game for nine year olds Keep saying that, man, but y'all were like, these puzzles are so hard. <coughs> I know you said they're so hard for you, but I am not sure. We'll see. We'll see. Someone just messaged me. Hold up. Oh, another shrine. When do I get the horse? You get a horse, right? Is 
Nerma's playing this too? Yeah, why do you think I'm playing it? I watched him for a second. I'm like, that actually looks pretty fun. Arnold, but you must get all 900 Korok seeds with no guide or it's five small wheel spins. Really? Yup. Oh shit, he is? Bye. <laughs> Wait, there's a person here. I hope you step on a rusty nail. Mm. Woo! I was nervous for a minute there. Thanks for the help. Thoughts on this game so far? I'm having a good time. It gives me, uh. I'm enjoying this game more than when I first played Elden Ring. Read the dialogue? I do read the dialogue, but I read it in my head. I don't want to read that all out loud. It takes too long. Blasphemy? I'm just saying, man, the colors are better for my eyes. The story's not fucking stupid. Like, Souls games, stories are so fucking dumb. Didn't you literally just say yesterday that you were so over story games? Yes, I am. hard to get any word in with this clown. This game is better than Elden Ring Cack. Also enable Weeb Emote C Money 7. I don't think it's... Uh, go! <laughs> Those feet looking nice. Uh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You must not harm the flowers. Uh. I planted flowers around the shrine. Please be careful where you step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? Bitch. Do this on a completely different way. What you mean? The cough is fake as fuck. Why would I fake a cough? Why? For attention? Like now I have to cough, but I don't want to fucking do it. that? 
<laughs> this is actually easy. We're not gonna be here for two hours. What do I, what do I, You're literally a fucking idiot slamming a square peg into a round hole 100 times until it breaks and falls in. Then you act high and mighty because you quote figured it out. Idiot. Breaks apart on impact, freezing objects in the media area. It's incredibly effective against hot things. That's awesome. So... I think I do this. Ready? Watch this. Pay attention. Good grief. We're going to be here for a while. Good grief, we're gonna be here for a while. I should ban you. Let's go, bro. Why did he, I didn't, I didn't want to shoot the barrel because that's a waste of an arrow. That's six GP, waste. Look at the way his head is shaped. You can tell that he was born with a... Why do people call you Lamont? Because of Russell. Russell calls me Lamont. And it, it, he just started calling me Lamont on stream and then everyone else started doing it. People actually don't do it anymore as much. Stop looking at chat for what to do in the game there. I don't. Rhyme. Five head strategy to get out of that as well. Oh. So many times. I've lost count of how many times I've told you. It's just so many now. Are you good, lady? How do you not understand? Why don't you get it? Bitch. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> shit.
Oh, she really took all my... I didn't die. Look, I still have half a bar. It's not a death. Got pegged, bro. Y'all gotta like. Lamont, is that French? Lamont, is it French? Is it that one of the? Is that one of those? Is that one of those things in that one game? The Zelda game. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. No, uh, Majora's Mask. No, you could get the, the things that would spin around in that little hole. Never played that, idiot? Yes, I have. That's probably my most played Zelda. <coughs> but it was so hard, I could not figure it out as a kid. My brother beat it, and I watched him beat it one time. Actually, didn't beat it, but he got to the ending. He didn't have all the mask, I think, or something like that. I don't remember. It was so long ago. Couldn't you get to the ending without having all the mask? And isn't like there's like these tall guys that are trying to hold up the moon? Barely, it's such a blur in my head. Stop spoiling. None of you guys are ever going to play that game. That game was, that moon was creepy as fuck. Uh, yo, 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 yo. Easy, buddy. Easy. I don't want to fuck with you, man. I'm just going to... Horses! Call me a pendejo. Oh, you can mount it. <laughs> Nowhere to go, bucko. I got a horse! He's not listening very well. How do I get off? Get 
Come here, buddy. Nice. Serious? What's his name? His name's gonna be Keith. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Treat your horse better. Um, he's not listening. Absolute prick. I'm gonna sucker punch you as soon as you land in Vegas for TwitchCon. Of course, if you want to make your own elixirs, you'll need to use bugs, not to mention some monster parts. Mm -hmm. Who is just the cleverest donkey in all of donkey dumb? That's right, you. Oh dear, do you mean to tell me that you had not asked me how to make elixirs? Say, I see you eyeballing the packs on my donkey. Want to see my goods? Oh, oh I might have to buy the, these carrots. Oh wait, I can make, I can, inc ooh, that actually be good, they can increase my movement speed. <coughs> Upping defense, let me buy those. Ah. Kind of going broke. Increases your maximum hearts. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to buy again. So, can I keep this horse? Like, can I call him? Alright, prick. Later. I don't want the horse anymore. Fake cough one more time there, little pup. See what Have happens. I've been coughing. Not interested. You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impey's abode? Is that a Sh Sheikah sl Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible, can it be? Oh. Please forgive me for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard of the legends from La Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. See why you don't read aloud? Fuck you. I'm doing good. That's right. A man? Huh? Is that... Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lee? 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 Uh... Oh, it's not that I forgot. It's just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa... Pa... Pay. Oh, my name is Paya. Phew. I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as it's how it's my own name and all. I'm so... Anyway, my grandmother's been awaiting your return ever since I was little. P please, please hurry inside.
Oh boy, I'm not doing. Oh, so, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Ah. What is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous. I can't do it. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Nice shit stains on your blanket. If you were any good at this game, you'd know how to make the horse trust you enough to go faster. But I guess you prefer slamming head first into the nearest wall. Jackass. I see. So you have lost your memory? Oh. Fuck you, Dunno. What matters not, in fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wanted to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. And Miss Kip just got on Smash. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Bitch, I'm ready. Yeah. I cannot pass on to someone who lacks convention. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? <laughs> ha. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice. And I'm tired of reading. Can we all just read in our head? Blind. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. Stop talking when there's a fucking cutscene, asshole. With the asshole. passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Shake that ass for me, e money. Please, I beg you. Hyrule Shake that ass for me. Please, I beg you, Lamont PLS. Civilization. Even the most Powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. Okay. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called <coughs> Guardians. <coughs> the Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. Didn't I already and know this? Thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon 
upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that great mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts, that is what she said. Should be easy. Provide some real fucking con. Oh. Provide some real fucking content and shake that fat ass baby weirdo. Stop talking about me like that, bitch. This person seems nice. Shake some ass man, God. Oh no. Why is everything broken? Is this how I level up my stuff? I might just go a full stamina build. I watched 26 out of 26 streams in March. I streamed 26 out of 31 days in March. That's pretty good. Five page, page essay about the lore with 15 citations. Tomorrow at 11. Bro, I'm not going to be done with the game. Not fighting you pricks. Leave me alone. If you could redo college, what would you major? Meteorology. Would you help me, lady? I'm struggling here. <sighs> Frankly, I thought I was done for. There are still some monsters about. Notice how there's not been any. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. You know what I am going to say. Notice how there's not been any...
Oh! Interesting. Oh, that's fun! You guys got all 900. Where'd the lady go? Come up and say it, pussy. Me unironically aware. Oh, that's fun. Did you find them on your own, though? That's there's no way anybody finds them all on their own. Where'd the lady go? I mean, there's no point in Googling it. Like, it's a single-player game, so, like, Googling it is, like, completely pointless. Like, using a guide is just a waste of time. Like, or it's just, it's, like, it's stupid. Hey! Yeah, you know how to handle bombs. It's, it's going to be a secret watch. Sorry. Go about your day. See me? I can help you. Yes, we got a quest. Let's get it. Have you fought Guardian Jet? Buddy, I just started playing the game. Don't try to play us, little kiddo. We know you go offline and watch strategy videos because you can't read. Bathroom, by the way. That's pst. think Lamont is going to start a second save to play off stream like he did with Elden Ring. Pussy boy, you fuck. That was hard. This dumb bitch is just sitting there hiding. I'm I don't like this person. That's oh, a guy. I thought that was a girl this whole time. Let's get it then. Come on then, big man. Get you some.
be a safer, bro? Bro! This is my game. This is my fucking game. I do not like how easy weapons break. Dax gone, yeah, 1230 he's gone. Your cough sounding like me in high school the night before an exam and I need my parents to call me out sick. You guys do realize in Dax's contract he can't really be traded unless he agrees to it, right? And it would be a huge dead cap hit for the Cowboys to do that shit. So he's not getting traded and then stop trying to do that. Chat, think about this. Why is it that we never see Lamont, Eric, or Rob in the same room Bro, at what? the same time? Something weird is happening here. If I just had one Karak seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expand. Oh, yes? But oh, wait. Take it! Hope I don't regret this. Weapon stash, bow stash, or sh weapon? Wait, is one? Is there other stuff they can get, you can do with them as well? Ha 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 ha, your Tyler one's brother, eat it you squid. You serious? Seems a bit unnecessary, buddy. How do you set your arrows? Oh, I scared them. Fuck. Are you playing without a map? What do you mean? Look at that. Look at that. Chase? All of them here as I widen out. Uh, you've got five on this one right now. Five different cruisers. There's a bunch of others kind of in tow and surrounding surface streets as well. Uh, listening to the units uh, call out and then see if they need to be stationed in any other uh, areas. Again, an allegedly stolen vehicle. And boy, we're seeing some pretty high now speeds listen. right now uh, on this one. So we'll see if LAPD open up your to own links. With with if something starts going down, I will before, be switching even if it's scenes. A, a stolen vehicle, property crime. Uh, sometimes they just let this go if they Telling think that you now. it's a little bit too dangerous I'll tell you again in five uh, to the public, Juan and Susie. 
Mike, you have something to add to this. You've been following this for a while as well. Right, so I've been listening to this, and, and it, they did originally call it as a stolen vehicle, and they do believe that it is still stolen. However, they're also calling the suspect in this vehicle what they call a Code 6 Charles suspect, which is somebody who is wanted on some sort of felony want. Mm. We don't know what that felony is, but they are indicating that he is armed and dangerous. I can hear the officers right now trying to clarify what weapon he is believed to have, so they're sorting that out. But uh, whoever this person is, they, they believe that they know him, and I, and I thought that was the case because one of the units that is involved in this uh, has the radio identifier of Five King, which is usually a detective unit from one of their centralized detective bureaus. So uh, they do I have detectives this? involved in this. It sounds like a detective this, may have been uh, the one that was initially in what they call a following, which is when they you know want to make a stop on this vehicle, but they need to coordinate it and get other units involved. And they did that with those black and whites, and now we have this pursuit. So how did this, uh, or how did police get tipped off to this, Mike? What what actually started this? Well, all we know is that they they originally got on the radio and said we're following this vehicle, um, and they you know they said they needed additional units, uh, an air unit. Yeah. They didn't do anything until they had a bunch of marked yeah, units. You know, Des was pointing out how many black and whites were down there. Uh -huh. um, so it, it, it's, it's very possible they were surveilling this person. Okay. Um, <coughs> and then they were you know, ready to make the stop on him. And then here we are now. But So they're calling it a Code 6 Charles felony suspect uh, that they believe is armed and dangerous. Right. So most likely the car was reported stolen. Exactly. Yeah. And as Mike was just talking about, you know, the different processes that the law enforcement officials have before they go into full-on pursuit mode, as we call it, um, we're talking about it being a following. It's like a pre-pursuit, if you will. Right. Um, patrol units will get behind the car, get more units in place. And the idea is that more black and whites units will be present so that maybe the person won't run. Maybe they, you know, it'll minimize the likelihood that they'll take off. Mm -hmm. And of course, they have the airship above. Uh, so they can follow where the ground units can't before lighting them up and getting everyone in place. So oh, that's God, what's happening go. before we got to you here on air here on KCAL News at 10. But again, we are following a police pursuit right now. The mm -hmm. LAPD chasing a stolen car, a black Honda sedan. Let's get back to Mike Rogers at the desk with an update. Yeah, so we're continuing to listen to this. They're still trying to sort out what the weapon was. They're trying to get um, some of those detectives involved in this. I can hear them trying to coordinate the radio traffic. It sounds like some of the officers may have been on a different radio channel. Uh -huh. So. You know, they're coordinating all that right now. But, you know, like you were mentioning, Susie, that pre-stop coordination um, is exactly for this purpose, especially, you know, this is one of these followings that for us at the desk, I don't, a lot of people don't realize there are a lot of followings sure. every day. Like this kind of thing happens all the time. Um, and this was a following that was much longer than what they usually are. And mm -hmm. that really indicated to me that they really wanted to have their ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. They wanted to have a lot of officers here. Um, I, I'm going to hold back some of the things that I am hearing, mm -hmm. but they are requesting some kind of specialized unit to be involved in this uh -oh. as well, uh, which really, again, leads me to believe you know, that these guys are, are somebody that could be potentially pretty dangerous, that they really want to get off the streets. The other thing, you know, I was talking about that radio designation earlier of that detective. Uh, those King units that we call them are citywide detectives. Flying. They're not from individual bureaus. Um, so it could have been somebody, you know, that was being investigated potentially by robbery homicide division or some citywide detective division. Right. Um, so it sounds like it's somebody that is potentially pretty dangerous that they want to get on. Right. The and that whole code six Charles with the felony want now armed and dangerous uh, changed everything. And here we are in pursuit. Uh, Desmond Shaw live up in SkyCal. For the most part, he's staying here on uh, surface streets, huh? Yeah, kind of looping around. What is this shit bottom? In the, in the Pico Union area, you could see. So it briefly went down towards USC and then turned around. That was right when we had heard that this well, you're had not become funny, a dude. pursuit. So <laughs> kind of hanging out in this area. We first heard about uh, LAPD wanting to pull this over, though, over on, on the west side, over off of the 10 and Lincoln. That was when they were still following a train. I hate how you're sitting at a computer giggling, bro. I hate their black and whites ready to uh, pull this over, get the helicopter uh, overhead as well, which obviously they have. Uh, you see that spotlight there as they uh, get ready to go underneath us here on to Olympic Boulevard. And there you can see the sharp turn by LAPD. Can't wait until this dude blows his brains uh, out and you get banned. Bro, that is one. just weird. Uh, so Take an hour. Take a day. We just spin the Take a week. Around a little bit as we are on uh, Olympic, but kind of hanging out in this area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, is this where the suspect lives or is this where they want to ditch the vehicle, get out and run? Uh, would you know, so we'll see. Uh, this is obviously, after all the details that Mike was giving you, definitely not one of the run I'm of the mill pursuits. Too fast to switch teams. I'm always, I'm literally, my hand is hovering over full cam. I believe that this person is armed and dangerous. That's I'm a ready to click. Factor. And so, knowing all that, it does. This does not seem like one of those ones where LAPD will give mm -hmm. up. They're probably going to try to. I think I'm a psychopath. As far I like uh, as watching they can. These. However, this concludes.
What's interesting, I'm noticing here that the uh, cruiser behind this car that's being pursued also has a spotlight of its own. I'm guessing it's to maybe look inside the car, Mike or Des. What would you say? Even when I'm off stream, I like I hear police chase, I have to, to watch it. Uh, try to alert. Maybe, maybe alert. Yeah, go out of my way wherever I am to watch it. Sometimes uh -huh. we'll see them you know, shine a flash. I are also dealing with a black vehicle. I mean, they do. A lot of times we see that when it's a black vehicle when they have their lights off, and they may need to do that just to keep, you know, a visual of the vehicle or to warn other people that something's coming towards them. I, it may have it even been a coordination with. You saw that the the uh, the airship was in a really tight turn there, Cosplay so maybe they shrimp. were doing that to kind of help assist the, the helicopter see. as well, so that they could uh, show them, you know, where the vehicle is going. This is a pretty common car. I believe this is a Honda Civic. We had heard a uh, black Honda was what they were uh, following earlier, and uh, bro, then she turned so it away, man. Back now on Washington Boulevard. Um, we're getting up to, we're past 1030 now. Still, you know, a decent amount of people out here tonight. It's definitely not dead down in this area. We're pretty close to uh, downtown Los Angeles. So, you know, a, a moderate amount of danger to the public right now. We have seen speeds up to 75 miles an hour as we get up to over 60 now on these surface streets. But just kind of looping around the area. So maybe trying to formulate a plan or, or something uh, or you know where where they want to get out of the vehicle we'll see but uh, LAPD obviously all over this one uh, ready however this is going to end yeah as Desmond was talking about dangerous because uh -huh. of the high speed on surface streets I right do now play danger to the again. public obviously for anyone who might be walking running for the police and GTRP was so fucking fun I'm going to go watch some old VODs like this you know these narrow streets that we see the time me and you wonder, that you know, one dude ran away for like hours that stop sign they just keep going and then we hit up on the roof for neighbors out there who maybe you know do not know that, again that this is coming through but this is a tough situation for the LAPD as we're all talking about because of the fact that Wind's these low. suspects are armed and dangerous and as Desmond was saying this is another level of danger when we're talking about armed and dangerous because police cannot do the things that they would maybe normally do to stop this car during a, a another pursuit that we're not talking about armed individuals right Mike yeah right I mean this is you know I, I just heard them request additional units mm -hmm. um, even to add to all of the units that they already have there, which again, just kind of goes to show, um, sorry, we're still listening to some radio traffic sure. here, but goes to show you that- are, You money, would you ever commit a crime? Again, they're repeating Not right like now, this. dangerous. Um, and so, you know, the airship has a couple of things there they wanna try, they're waiting to get some approvals for those. So we'll watch and see if those happen, but um, you know, not something that they're probably gonna give up. I can't imagine that they'll give up a, uh, you know, a wanted felony suspect that is, they believe is armed and dangerous. Right. Um, I so, speed you know, sometimes. Into these I said it. Surface streets where we're trying to starting to circle a little bit. I'm monitoring some of the air traffic mm -hmm. here uh, with SkyCal and the LAPD ship, and we've kind of been up and down this area. Uh, you know, Pico Union into close to downtown. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, we'll see, you know, if they're able to get some What's embezzlement? To, to that sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Would be a great opportunity to use spike strips, right? Because it seems like he's following some sort of pattern. Even Desmond Shaw up in SkyCal was telling us. Um, and we see it here live. Just turn after continual turn and basically just staying in the uh, Pico Union area. And it looks like this is an area that has um, some homes and a lot ah, of... Ah, please, nobody be well. walking out. And luckily, I don't know if it has anything to do with maybe uh, cooler temperatures at night, but we're not seeing a lot of foot traffic right now, which is Goodness. a good thing mm -hmm. right now with this car uh, blasting through residential streets at anywhere from... 30 to 50 miles an hour, which of course is very dangerous. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is one of those situations where they're probably not going to go for the pit maneuver, obviously, right. because of the fact <coughs> that these uh, suspects are armed and dangerous, as we've been saying throughout this pursuit. Um, you can imagine, you know, kind of the techniques that they're thinking about, you know, deploying right now, and uh, definitely not a pit maneuver because of that reason, because uh -huh. they are armed, and you can only imagine what could happen, you know, should the officers get any closer to this car. So, again, a big danger to not only the officers who are in pursuit, that but also uh, the neighborhood uh, that this uh, suspect is driving through. And we've been talking about how it's been pretty much the same area for about, a good, uh, I would say, half an hour now. Um, you know, we were uh, back in the USC area, and then they turned and came back around through the Pico Union area. And that's where we've been this entire time. But, you know, it always makes you wonder, Juan, yeah. do they know the area? Are they familiar with the area? Listen, they guys, don't got to talk 24-7. Right. Who lives in this area. I Maybe they're hoping to, uh, you know, ditch the car and run into their house 
and who knows? Or like we saw not too long ago where a pursuit ended. Uh, so I sound during my intro, so I don't area, shut up. And the suspects all scattered, mm -hmm. and there were so many people just standing around. It was uh, hard to in. figure out who was who. Eventually, yeah. they did. Uh, like, damn, catch these give it guys. A but five. Look at this. Oh, wait. The pursuit kind of coming into this area here, yeah, yeah. Um, where there were a lot of apartment buildings. But no, there's the car right there. Uh, Desmond um, is right on it. And it looked just a little while ago. Look, LA Live way right there on the on the map tracker. Mm -hmm. Are they near LA Live, um, Desmond? Is that the convention center? What are we looking at? Mm. Yeah, we are right by there right now. I'll widen out and show you. So we are right next to the convention center uh, right now, which is you know long since closed, fortunately. So not going to see too many people out in this area. So I've been there just before. Crisscrossing around. The 10 freeway, you know, right around the 10 and the 110 as well, Pico Union. So Isn't this where Tyler and Greek out, first met up? Uh, a little bit. We'll see what the strategy is here. You know, we are on the verge of, of downtown Los Angeles, yeah. which could make things uh, pretty di pretty mm -hmm. difficult for helicopters to uh, to follow all of this. And I've noticed, you know, LAPD, they're kind of hanging back a, a little bit as well. And, you know, what? When we made that northbound turn back underneath the 110, it, it almost looked like for a, a moment they mm -hmm. could have almost lost this vehicle. So, uh, you know, we have Both heard many flying. pursuits before where, you know, they've they've lost a visual. Of course, they do have the helicopter overhead uh, as well. But, you know, they've got to be kind of careful if this is someone that they really want putting mm -hmm. this much distance yeah. uh, between them and, and, and the criminals because it really does give them a, an advantage. Uh, sometimes all these guys need don't know that it's a guy for sure just mm -hmm. but you know all they need is 10 or 15 seconds to get out and run into a parking structure or something and that can you know really complicate things for these officers so uh, we'll see uh, but here's as I widen now you can see there's still you know back a, a couple hundred feet on this one and right through the the, the, the center turn lane there as so we're back onto Washington Boulevard this is the, the third or fourth time we've been on Washington Boulevard. Why do you so think the driver Pico decided Union, to do this? Edge of downtown Los Angeles over by LA. He doesn't want to go to jail? That's where we've been pretty much the whole time on this one. I don't know. All right, if you're just joining us here on KCAL oh, News at 10, this is breaking news. A police mm -hmm. pursuit happening right now, circling the downtown LA area and the Pico Union area for about 30 minutes. Um, we're talking about a stolen car, a black Honda sedan. The he does, if he has a Cowboys jersey on, I'll do a wheel spin. Someone who has a felony want on them. And uh, we believe there oh, look, are multiple suspects stopping. in this oh, car. Stopping. And it looks and like look, it's coming to end. One fails. person, wow. two people. And the yep. car keeps going. So there's Just a third, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yeah, so we know there was at least three people in the car there. Uh, two people just got out. One of them got out awfully casually there. Yeah. Uh, but you can see there are a couple of units that are stopping to uh, apprehend those people. And uh, it looks like one of them may be running through an apartment. You see LAPD with their, their spotlight watching that one. But, of course, we're going to stick with the driver here as we're out on who. The other so couple's turning to cut those guys off. Vehicle, and we would all love to know their connection with this with this one bro those guys were smart driving this black would be annoying Honda. here they came back if those guys were smart they would just gave themselves up and said this guy was forcing them to run vehicle. and they didn't want to do it and that's why they got out and pico right now as we continue now kind of on the edge of the macarthur park area right uh, so we'll see where this one uh, takes us right here uh as we are northbound mm -hmm. on alvarado now going away from the tent towards Fucking the rat Ryan freeway Mike uh, Rogers, you've been listening to some police chatter while we watched this uh, unfold just seconds ago. Um, what can you tell us? Yeah, so I can tell you that they, they, you know, this is one of the reasons why they wanted those additional units, right? So in case something like this happens. So there are units continuing to chase the car, but there are units yeah. back where they dumped those two people, and they are trying to take those two into custody right now. The airship, yeah, here's the video from when that, uh, those two suspects got out. There was a woman and a man who got out. The woman got out on the right there. The man got out on the left and ran down the alley. So they've got officers trying to uh, get both of those suspects into custody. They're setting up a right. perimeter there. The airship, if it's their the friend, LAPD it puts an extra charge on for driver for kidnapping. Because the LAPD helicopter very briefly stayed with the two suspects that got out ah. uh, just to kind of get officers like, okay, this one went down the alley, this one's on the sidewalk. He coordinated that very quickly, and now they're back over the pursuit with Dez. So this is one of those examples of why we had so many officers with this just for this reason, because, you know, Desmond points this out all the time, but it's almost like the pursuit package where these suspects have super dark windows that you can't see into. So LAPD, it is very hard for them to know how many officers are, act or how many suspects, rather, are in the car, and this is the reason we now know is at least three people.
And most likely these two might have asked the driver to stop and let us out because sure. things are getting a little uh, heated, more serious yeah. and heated. And it looks like now that uh, we know maybe there's just one person, at least we're seeing the car behind the the, the, the um, police officer's car uh, seems to be following a little closer. So I don't know if that has anything to do with knowing the there's um, one person in the car. But um, a great job, too, Lemon. by law enforcement oh, well, uh, up in their helicopter, <coughs> keeping their focus and their, their night sun right there on that car as you were mentioning mike it's a black car desmond was saying it's a black car maybe hard to see on darker uh, surface streets and uh, they are keeping it uh, well illuminated and this look at this uh, it looks like we're picking up a little speed right here yeah, a going down a very anyway, narrow street on with points. one car stopped as you mm -hmm. just saw as it just flew by that car and you know going almost 60 miles an hour down this narrow street it just scares you so much because it's dark out there you know there could be people out there we haven't seen any people i mean at this hour uh -huh. thank goodness it's a later hour but you know the possibilities are always this there and the police obviously they're not going to take any chances and you were talking about Juan, how you know it, you've been noticing that maybe the police are following a little closer now you know with perhaps one person you're know, up here one day no shot there's just one person but we believe there's this one more person, not leave your house. driver uh -huh. inside this car right now but you know the fact that these people uh, we don't know who was armed we don't know if the two people who took off uh, from the video that we showed you earlier uh, just a moment ago yeah. yeah were mm -hmm. they the armed suspects or is a driver the armed suspects are they all armed so again i want to show you that video that uh, we were just talking about yeah. two of the suspects a woman and a man jumping out of that car and a third suspect driving on as mm -hmm. police are in chase right now on the left side of your screen but again you know all the possibilities you don't know how dangerous this could end right. up being and when they came out of the car you clearly saw their sneakers um, you could see exactly where they were going as Mike was saying I think the uh, woman went towards the right uh, the man to the left and there were some cruisers that did stop there because they were being followed by quite a bit of law enforcement to get those two into custody and my guess is once those two are into custody they start talking to police and they may give up their their friend the driver behind the wheel here right. have a wheel spin again and maybe it will be me one, one day those people over a custody, wheel spin are still looking for the other person but you know we talk about you know passengers getting out of these pursuit yeah. vehicles there have been times that we've followed up on these and as long as those passengers uh don't have any active warrants things like that if they if they stay and cooperate with police nine times out of ten they're released they're not mm. the driver not even charged um, unless they're yeah mm. i mean they they're not the ones that are evading law enforcement so unless they're wanted in connection with whatever crime happened mm. yeah. if they're just passengers to this and they you know said let me out and they sit there and wait for the cops sometimes they can let them go see and i am listening to they just broke down the perimeter Primary suspect is not in custody. Primary so the person they're looking for is not in custody still, uh, right. which leads us to believe that it is the driver, right? right? So, but they do have one person in custody from where they bailed on foot, um, and then they broke down that perimeter. They're going to reassign those officers back to the pursuit. Right. The primary person that they're looking for, not in custody. Right? Do we know if it was the woman or the man that we saw bail out? In I custody? don't. They just said that they had one in they custody say, and okay. one was outstanding. It's not about the wheel spins, it's about the area near Pico Union, message. Of course, still going to be very busy with the uh, police investigators. This car, obviously, they need this driver to stop to get this person into custody and one other person outstanding as well. So this area is going to be seeing a lot of police activity over the next at least hour or so. Um, depending on when this pursuit comes to an end. And, you know, where it comes to an end and how it comes to an end. Uh -huh. You know, Mike was talking earlier about uh, various resources being Summer called. Aunt, please Mike, do not do this, talking man. about maybe some specialized teams to maybe get ahead of this, uh, maybe, you know, when this pursuit actually comes to a stop. Yeah, and, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't ever like to give away tactical information sure. from officers. I can tell you what they were asking for is not necessarily something that would help them end this pursuit. Um, sounds like something maybe that would potentially be needed it. if something else were to happen after uh -huh. um oh. so you know they, the airship was talking about some spike strips in some areas back when we were uh, a little bit further south in the pico union area and we're getting a car chaser that's i'll put on the small one because yes the person is staying in generally the same area but i mean you know i'm looking at this the tail from the uh police helicopter and it is just circles and circles and circles kind of in that same area so it's not something that i don't think they could really like okay he's going straight let's put the spike strip here because it just is he's kind of all over the place and i don't mm -hmm. think that's super easy to coordinate although they are trying luckily we haven't seen any crashes or side swipes but we have seen several uh, red lights being run uh, as this driver tries to evade police but um again staying mostly in the same area they're going underneath uh, i guess that's the uh, 110 freeway there right there's James Woods uh, Boulevard, the exit right there. There you go. Oh. And there's the car right there. Desmond's right on it right there. 
Uh, Desmond, what can you Don't tell hit the us Tesla. You from your vantage point? Yeah, just uh, lots of uh, circling around, going underneath us, lots of right yeah. turns, left turns, zigzagging all over the place. We're getting into downtown. Try to get a little bit closer to this one now. Back over uh, across Figueroa, uh, so Figueroa and 9th. Uh, as we're crossing uh, that intersection, so we're going to have a lot of tall buildings to contend oh, with shit. as well here. Oh, um, yeah. We'll do our best, but this is when things, you know, get difficult for the helicopter for LAPD as well. And, you know, they've got to be up higher, which means that we've got to be up uh, even higher than them. So bear with us here as we try to bring you a better shot. I've never seen this. The pursuit as it goes into downtown LA, but we know what's happened with a lot of pursuits that go into downtown. Uh, that's why I just I hope that these you know units will stick pretty close by uh, with this suspect because it might get into a situation where you know the helicopter is not going to be able to keep eyes on this. There's tons of not just tall buildings but park. We're gonna go to a parking garage. How the fuck? Hiding spot. How are you so good at this? Town LA now on to Hope Street at a high rate of speed. Downtown LA, relatively empty this time of the night. Still, though, lots of pedestrians uh, walking their dogs and out and about for a Wednesday evening walk. And you can see he's now continuing on Hope Street here. All of those units still right behind him. Damn, he turned. Southbound Hope slowing down a little bit. Well, so what time are you going to do that stream tomorrow? I don't want to text you. Back on to Pico Boulevard. Eight? Perfect. Actually perfect. Right around LA Live as he makes his way. Better not be late. Past Figueroa. Continuing westbound past Figueroa, past the convention center. Westbound Pico at 70 miles per hour coming up on the freeway. He's going to go, I think, once again underneath the 110 freeway. There's the overpass as he comes out the other side. A little bit of traffic here. He's going to get around that by going into the oncoming lanes of traffic once again. Another wild left-hand turn here. All of those units still right behind him as he makes his way onto Valencia Street. Since we've been over this pursuit, at least two suspects have jumped out of the vehicle. We believe that at least one of those suspects is in custody, and presumably LAPD is in the process of <coughs> gaining more intel on this driver. He's been here before. Trying to get some more information on what they are working with here, who they are He's dealing with. He's been in the spot before. They can't go off the vehicle license plate because it appears to be a stolen vehicle, and so they have limited knowledge about the driver, but once again, you can see he is posing a real danger to all of these other other motorists as he oh, speeds down birthday. Happy Boulevard birthday, Russell. at upwards of 50 miles per hour. Old ass. A spike strip. Oh! A spike strip. It missed. A failed spike at Venice and Bonnie Bray. Continuing westbound Venice Boulevard. Thank you. A northbound oh, out. turn onto Cortland Avenue. Another suspect jumping out. Running for it. They're going to take him into custody in short order here, and the driver is continuing once again. So now three people have jumped out of this vehicle, and the driver continuing the pursuit. Again, this Smart is a man. stolen vehicle, and we're told uh, by sources that there is also a felony want for the driver of this car. So it's more than just Grand Theft Auto. There are additional charges that this suspect is wanted for, and they are. there's a reason there are so many officers dedicated to this pursuit we're going to see he really did try to act normal are, to get away there are additional felony wants for the driver of this vehicle as they continue this pursuit of a stolen vehicle in downtown la 50 miles per hour up alvarado street another spike trip oh they got it Another wide turn. I think they got it. Olympic. And, oh, 
almost losing control, fishtailing at Westlake Avenue off of Olympic Boulevard, starting to lose control a little bit as he makes these turns way too fast, very little braking, braking way too late, and here he comes again as he makes his way uh, up Westlake Avenue, much narrower streets here as all of those PD units continue to close in on him. About, again, about 10 units, approximately 10 units that are on his uh, behind here and they are just not letting up whatsoever. They really are dedicated to this pursuit. Look at that. Check out all of those units that are in pursuit here. You gotta wonder what else this driver is wanted for. Making a left-hand turn there onto 12th Street and once again heading back towards downtown LA. Westbound 12th at 50 miles per hour, back towards the 110 freeway. LAPD right on his tail there this with that airship mine. right overhead, trying to keep oh that God, I on him. There's the overpass once again. We're covering a lot of the same real estate that we have just in the last few minutes. Another wild left turn there as he continues to push the limits of this Honda Civic. Again, right near the crypto uh, arena here as he makes his way past, the, past LA Live. Just past Chick Kern here, paralleling the 110 freeway. Got, uh, you know, a, a, a traditional uh, Ford Explorer behind him now. So, you know, the airship uh, not not unaware that they're going to have issues with these buildings downtown, and they've asked those units uh, to be close by. All right, well, uh, we're going to continue to follow this pursuit and keep Desmond Shaw and Sky Cal overhead as uh, looks like uh, we're going through downtown right now. And People are getting out of the way. Situation with the tall buildings nice there. To see. Mm -hmm. But we want to welcome our viewers to uh, KCAL News at 11 now. Alongside Juan Fernandez, mm -hmm. I'm Susie Saad, Mike Rogers at the desk, and Desmond Shaw in SkyCal. And uh, we're going to keep it here. A, and, lot, uh, a lot of times people just don't as, move. As long yeah. as we can. You know, it's been difficult mm -hmm. because of the downtown LA situation. But 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 obviously, police want to get to this, this person, clown. get them away from the public, obviously, because they are right. posing a danger. Again, armed and dangerous. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this uh, right now and want to continue following this along with us, turn to Channel 2 right now. KCAL News at 11. Uh, we'll begin there in just a moment as we continue following this pursuit. Thanks so much for watching. All right, thanks for joining us for KCAL News at 11. This is breaking news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susie Sa, alongside Mike Rogers at the desk and Desmond Shaw live overhead in SkyCal following this pursuit through it's downtown LA. Uh, we've been How following this for a good 40 minutes now, and uh, the suspect has been pretty much staying in the same area around USC. They turned around and went back to the Pico Union area, was in the downtown LA area near the convention center, and went into the, all those uh, areas with all those tall buildings, and we lost it for just a moment, but we picked mm -hmm. it up once again as they're just Still more uh, exciting you know, than Zelda? Uh, You're crazy. the outskirts of downtown LA here. But again, this person is considered armed and dangerous. There were four people inside this car this up, at bro. one point. Let's get upstairs to Desmond Shaw in SkyCal with an update for us. Desmond? We are on 8th Street here in the Westlake area. Westlake, Pico Union. And I live East right here. Hold up a sign. Has been where this suspect I'm has just been. kidding, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Since this went into pursuit mode, LAPD was first getting everything lined up to try to pull over this uh, wanted suspect. Uh, back in, in near Santa Monica off of the 10 at Lincoln is where we had uh, first heard about LAPD chattering about getting all the, the cruisers lined up to try to pull this person over. It didn't turn into a pursuit until we got near downtown LA around the 10 and the 110 is where we had first heard this. So we've seen three people now get out of the vehicle. The last person we saw looked like they were giving up immediately, uh, but at least two of one of the other two suspects was out there running around and uh, didn't want to surrender. We know that they had found uh, at least one of those. So at least Give two up, of bro. the three, possibly all three of those Bike people trip. now uh, in threw custody it. Uh, with police. But it is unknown if there is still one more person in this vehicle other than the driver or if it's just the driver solo now. 
Uh, at this point, we saw a spike strip attempt that unfortunately was not successful. Another one. That looked like that was going to be another one right there. Uh, it was, actually, but I don't think they were able to get the spike deployed at that point either. Susie, you were talking about it earlier. It is a very precise operation. They have to time it just perfectly. They're not going to keep the spike laying out there for the suspect to see plain as day and then swerve around it. They have to, it's almost kind of like a fishing line that they yank it off of the, of the sidewalk and into the street, and they have to time it perfectly to go over the suspect's tires. Uh, we've now go seen fuck two yourself, attempts that look like they were unsuccessful. Go fuck and yourself, so this pursuit continues now finger. in the Pico Union area. And you know, it looks like he's anticipating those spike strips, because look at him here. He's basically riding that center divider line. He's not hugging the either the right or left side there of the streets, running another red light. So two spike strip attempts. Uh, our Mike Rogers on the assignment desk. He's been following this since it first uh, started. Mike, uh, what can you add? What can you tell us? Yeah, so, sorry, I'm just catching up on some radio traffic here. Uh, you know, they do have two of the people that got out of the car in custody, uh -huh. uh, which we believe one from that first time, the two people bailed, and then that the other TV's person watching bailed. Chase now, the ball. Oh, something shit. has happened, and I'm trying to... You're listening right now, so mm -hmm. would you like to listen, and we'll keep... Okay, so this, there, for whatever reason, they've got information that they yeah. believe there may be three more people in the what? vehicle. So what? Because what? of that, they <laughs> because of that <laughs> they clown have car, bro. More units. So now, uh, you know, all pursuits have to have an authorized number of units. There's a watch commander that's making the decision. How many units can we have in this pursuit? What is uh, appropriate for this? They have authorized nine units to be in this pursuit, which mm. you know, Des, you and I have covered a lot of pursuits. Nine units being authorized <laughs> in a pursuit is a lot. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, a typical pursuit is two units and a supervisor. Uh, and so to have nine units authorized right. in this pursuit, and they even authorized additional units to trail but not engage in the pursuit, plus we've got detectives that, you know, potentially were involved in the beginning of this also following. So there are a lot of units yeah. involved in this whole deal. I'm more surprised as Desmond was. We heard his reaction that seven people were at one point <laughs> in this Honda Civic. It's hard to believe we've it's already seen, car. right, uh -huh. three people bail out. And, and um, Mike's telling us maybe three others in there. Uh, it's just incredible. And Mike, you know, this actually, the, the original want that we were talking about was a stolen car. When right. I was younger, I would serious. be very lazy it, it and not yeah, like it, to it, take it a break from serious. playing and, you know, Xbox I clarify to go the to the three, toilets. The three additional people so I created a method of pushing uh, poo halfway out of my ass and then sucking it back in to trick my body into thinking I went to the toilet and stopped that. So, me. you know, we'll see if that holds true, but that's that's what they're preparing for right now. Uh, and yeah, Susan, to answer your question, originally this did come out as a Code 37 vehicle. It's what they call it as a stolen vehicle. That's your donut and sauce, not mine. I told you those specialized Weird units, that five king unit, mm -hmm. uh, kind of got involved in this. And then that's when it turned into what they call a Code 6 Charles suspect, which is somebody wanted for uh, some type of felony. And we believe that this possibly as the driver. We believe, yeah. I mean, or, you know, they, they said the primary suspect, um, you know, the driver's the only one so far, besides maybe potentially the other two or three yeah. that haven't gotten out of the car yet. So, uh, but they, are, they, they do know that they're looking for somebody anywhere, specific they and they're calling that person their yet. primary suspect. This is a very interesting situation, mm -hmm. again, because of the fact, Juan, that, you know, we're seeing so many Why police officers chase this car right now. Link, bro. Obviously, they want to get this person off the streets as soon as possible. If they are armed and dangerous, obviously, another level of danger to the public and to their officers Ooh, barely missing a car, making that left turn there yeah. um, on the wrong side of the road as the police are right behind this person. And, and Susie, really yeah. quick, uh, a spike strip was just successful. Huh. All right. So they did have a successful oh. spike. So third attempt, right. successful. And it does look like, Des, it looks like we're starting to sl slow down a bit, right? It yeah, does, we can see that. It does appear that. so, and let's hope that that the suspect realizes that, uh, you know, the riding is on the wall with this one, especially once they lose uh, their tires. You know, how much farther are they going to push it? You know, some suspects, as soon as it happens, they're like, all right, the jig is up, and that's it. Other suspects say no way. They go until the rubber falls off until the wheel falls off until the brake caliper falls I mean, at this off. point so you might as well keep going, going. Uh, but definitely uh, you know a, a big a point there for LAPD to uh, have a successful spike strip mm -hmm. uh, on this one as we are still in the uh, Pico Union area <coughs> and yeah we're see some uh, some of the smoke come out so I think that that spike was really successful yeah. maybe even starting to lose uh, looks like they're fishtailing maybe yeah. even losing a little bit of control hmm. uh, on this this yeah, is a front wheel that. drive car and if it's one of the front if it's one of the front tires that they just lost, uh, you know, I mean, this person looks like they're really struggling to keep it together now. Uh, let's see how much farther this, this vehicle could go. We'll see if we can see what tire it was uh, that they lost here. 
Looks like it might actually be that rear, yeah, the, the rear driver's side here and really having some trouble now uh, with this vehicle. Make sure you guys uh, I mean, get your own. Another spike strip. Look, Make there was sure another you spike. Yeah. Another one. Get I, you guys on links. I couldn't tell if that one was successful or no, not. No, I don't but, think he went uh, over I mean, because yeah, they think, start, I think yeah, it was I don't just think something that happens I, when I he gets out of the car. I, I might switch uh, seats. So I don't get in trouble. Four attempts, one successful, but you know, really successful because you know the spike strips are designed to to deflate the tires slowly. Mm -hmm. But it seems gear, like it, it happened awfully quickly with this vehicle. Yeah, we can see the same. Uh, you, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, it, it's it's you know very clear here that they they lost the the right left tire. And uh, I mean, Whoa. all over the place hmm. now, fishtailing, that was a fish not able tail. to keep it yeah. on the right side of the road. Uh, so, you know, hopefully they don't try to push these speeds while they're losing control of the vehicle. Uh, I mean, the, you know, this is this is it. It's uh, you know, you've you've evaded police long enough. You got a bunch of your buddies out of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one is uh, should be ending here pretty quickly at this rate. Yeah, we saw another police cruiser there just to the left of the car after uh, the driver made the turn. Yeah, and you can see how the car keeps kind of, you know, um, just kind of weaving left and right yeah. and left and right. I don't know if, again, they're anticipating more spike strips or indeed they're having trouble um, controlling the car, but it shouldn't be long before this pursuit comes to an end. And interestingly enough, always stayed on surface streets, Susie. Never went yeah. onto freeways, Never very close freeway. to freeways. We saw the driver go under the 10. We saw the driver go under the 110 as well, but still sticking to this Pico Union area. This is uh, South Alvarado Street uh, at West 11th Street, again in Pico Union, all on surface streets right here with that night sun above. No way that, uh, you know, the people around this driver or the driver himself uh, doesn't realize that uh, there's nowhere to go. They're right behind him here. And here we go, making another turn um, as he's been doing all night. Yeah, you know. It, it, sorry, I'm just going to let you yeah. know. They, they did just say that the, their only driver tire is left. Um, so they've been able to successfully blow oh, out okay. the other three. Oh, Holy shit. It seems like he's only got one tire left, which, you know, Des was talking about the fishtailing, a, a little bit of a remarkable amount of control for, wow. you know, kind of only having one tire. The other piece of information that I'm getting right now is uh, they are focused on the driver. Um, so, you know, they're kind of coordinating for this to end right now, and the, uh -huh. you know, the units right immediately behind said, you know, we're going to stay with the driver. So it does sound like the driver is the one that they're interested in. Well, if we're talking about three tires out, I mean, we're talking about a spike strip that was really successful with four yeah. attempts and one successful one. We believe that three tires are blown out. As Desmond was talking about, this is not usually, you know, if one is out, you know, usually it's a slow situation before right. we see uh, the impact that. actually happening. Yeah. But you can see, we could see almost right away um, the impact uh, that those blown tires were having. Usually it's like, a, you know, air coming out of a straw, you know, when uh, right. they hit one of those little quills on the, uh, spike strips but looks like this they're you know posing a new danger now to the public driving like this That's Mike, can never what do you mean or not after the spike strip starts to deflate the tires are they still rolling on flat tires or do it does eventually the the tire fall off and they're on rims uh, yeah that would make it even harder to right, drive, right? yeah it, it, it depends on you know how long these guys want to push the car it depends on the type of car you know uh this is a honda so i'm not entirely familiar with this type of car but a lot of cars have what, what are called run flat they're tires running a battery um, bro they last a while it's really hard it, i don't think that's the case here because we've seen the swerving we've seen the fish tailing so uh -huh. it, it doesn't look to me like that's the situation but yeah i mean absolutely if they keep driving on this eventually the rubber gives way and then it goes down to the rims eventually the rims give way and we go down to the brake calibers like that des mentioned so it's up to the driver it's, it's up to them how far they want to push this but you know we always ask the question and we never can get in the mind of these guys but well, how do you think this is going to go are you, you you know do you think you're going to be able to get away from a helicopter you know, at mm -hmm. least nine patrol units that are involved behind you set of spike um, traps throw so, water you know, and the battery will get know, fucked grasping that last moment of freedom but I wonder if they're on the phone with them too, because they caught those three other guys. Maybe they gave them a phone number, right, uh, Susie? And maybe they're talking. I mean, I don't know. Sure. I'm just it, trying to think possible. of all the possibilities. Sure. Right? Absolutely. They came up with their hands up. You know, they're surrendering to police, Look. and if they're giving information, certainly yeah. that could be a phone number that could be uh, connected to this person who's driving the car. Maybe put a, you know, someone who knows this person on the phone and saying, hey, you know, mm -hmm. it's time to give up. Uh, you know, cut your losses right now because, I mean, with three blown tires, again, this is not going to last very long. Let's go back upstairs to Desmond Shaw for an update now. Desmond. 
Uh, it just seems like this uh, car just almost like a rudderless ship kind of listing back and forth right now, barely able to get it up to 25, 30 miles an hour. Bro, get my really picture off there, man. It looks it like they're the right reporting the about you me, saw how man. Many LAPD units are standing by all over the place in a lot of different if Someone areas, else is watching, they're going to think that's the fucking person that's doing this. You know, they've been able to, to really kind of coordinate and they see how this person has been in really the same Pico Union neighborhoods this entire time. And so they're, you know, ready wherever this person decides if they get out, if they want to try to get out and run. You know, there are LAPD officers uh, all over the place. And I am wondering if, if that's what, actually you know, what this person is thinking, if there are if the, 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 the three people inside are all what? talking, uh, you know, if they're all going to get out and, to get and you know, split in different directions, Something if they're trying to formulate up. some kind of plan uh, to get away from the police and looking for a place that they might think is advantageous to ditch this car and get out and run. That's what I'm guessing they're talking about. I mean, you see how, oh, yeah, you know, you those other three it. people got out of the vehicle earlier and one of them surrendered instantly. You know, why are these other two people not getting out of the, of mm -hmm. the vehicle and just leaving, you know, the driver to their fate? If that's who LAPD wants, just makes you wonder, you know, what their story is, why they're uh, still involved with this at all. Uh, but, you know, here we go. It's I just, hear you, man. I'm hungry. Lots of right turns around Wrap this neighborhood. Very... I want to go aimless, eat. but just kind of stuck almost like a magnet to the uh, the Pico Union area. Yeah, earlier we saw the um, the back um, left tire or the the driver's side rear tire. You can see it really wobbling left and right. So definitely, we know that those tires were punctured. Yeah, I took five miles for us as well. Uh, the interesting part now is again still here in the Pico Union, King. South Alvarado Street, um, under these canopy of trees. This pursuit continues here at very slow rates of speed because. Um, three tires blown, it's very difficult to control the car and obviously doesn't want to pick up that much speed. But as we were mentioning, um, what does this driver think is, is going to be the, the outcome here? Eventually, he is going to be brought into custody. And the big mystery is, are there six or seven people or were there six or seven people in that car at one point? We already saw three of them bail out, right? Yeah, we believe three more people are inside this car, including the driver. And, uh, you know, it's curious to see, you know, how police will handle this when this all comes to an end. Obviously, it's going to be a very delicate situation mm -hmm. because of the fact I that we don't know how pants. many of these individuals in this car right now are armed. If they are, we don't know if the ones who were armed because this, you know, the, this car full of people, they were considered armed and dangerous. So we don't know if the people who Just give up the bro. already who were the ones who were armed or the ones who are still inside occupying this car who are armed right now. So obviously it's going to be a very delicate operation for police, right, Mike? Right, and again, that's why they've, you know, had all these units where, so the, the officers oh, that are spikes. coordinating this are the officers from Southwest Division, which is actually south of the 10, but we're up in LAPD's they Olympic Division. They talk too Division. much, so, man, I'm you telling know, you. The force of the Southwest officers, that's the one that's right behind them, plus the Olympic officers. But, you know, we've really stayed in the same place uh, the entire time. I think we can show my computer here really quickly, and I just want to show you the trail of the of the helicopter and it really is just kind of up and down in the same place it kind of makes you wonder i mean we've talked about all this time do you, you know, okay so here you there are it is. so all of these orange lines is the police helicopter uh -huh. and so you can see we have not left this area the entire time you can just see all of the circles back and forth even i'll show you sky Cal, you know kind of just doing the same thing here so it always makes <coughs> you wonder exactly what they're doing what they're thinking about and and why we're staying in this same place so uh, it's something that we're going to keep keep an ear on. Again, Southwest units are the one chasing them, even though we're in Olympic Division. Probably just turn. They don't even know what they're where they're, they're going. They're just the turning. Don't get involved in this. Um, but you know, it makes you wonder if they know this area, why they haven't tried to go anywhere else. I think you mentioned never gotten on the freeway. Yeah. You know, except for before they chased them. You know, the yeah, whole pre-stop right. coordination was on the freeway. That was all in the 10 East. You know, Des was uh, out in almost uh, you know the Cajon Pass checking on another pursuit for us when we heard this one on the 10 East at Lincoln, uh, which you know as Des mentioned was all the way out near almost near How Santa Monica. How is the so He remained all the way on the 10 sideways. until they initiated the pursuit near the 10 and the 110 and then has been exclusively on surface streets since they started the pursuit. When you just showed us that map, Mike, was it five helicopters that are in the oh, air? That's pretty impressive. 
Oh well, shit! Yeah, so there's, I see two police helicopters. The rest are us. <laughs> the okay. rest are the TV helicopters. So, <laughs> but again, a lot of eyes on the on this thing. Sure, absolutely. And staying in that same area as Mike was just referring to, uh, the fact that this person could possibly oh, live boy. in this area, you know, know this area well, so they're more comfortable, uh, perhaps driving on the surface streets here, or you know, better than on the freeway or somewhere yeah. else they're not familiar with. But again, this just could be a very dangerous situation. Obviously, not only mm -hmm. because they're armed and dangerous, but because of the fact that uh, you know. The spike strip have taken out their uh, tires, at least three of them, as far as we know. Right. And, uh, like well, and I think, you know, I was just listening to them say that about the tires. Des, did you say that you saw them lose another tire? One of the one of the tires flew off, so this my person is now wife, down to LLC, uh, think flat that tires our and raid. Uh, a metal wheel down here. Oh. So it's just it's going to be that much more difficult for this person to control, and you can really see the struggle, especially as they make some of these turns, having to take them really really wide here. And it, it looks like one of the other tires are about to separate off of the wheel as well. And so you just wonder how much more you know this has got. And they were still out here with more spike strips. So we'll, uh, we saw been, at I least hate my wife. Oh, yeah. They never uh, read me LAPD again. With their with their spike strips out there, um, you, you know, just just because they, they spike the tires doesn't mean that they're they're backing off necessarily. Uh, this is you know definitely one of the more aggressive efforts that we've seen from LAPD in recent memory. Uh, as oh yeah, now we got the sparks Whoa. flying oh, all shit. over the place right. there. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> And, you know, this has got to just be so uncomfortable for this driver. I think they just it probably in denial about their situation, it's like Mike was saying, just trying to maybe enjoy the last few minutes of, of freedom on this one. I've got to say, especially because we've been in the same area the whole time, because this happens with so many pursuits that go like that. I'm really surprised this hasn't turned into more of a circus out here with a lot of people. We've mm -hmm. seen a few people out here getting some videos for their Twitter and Instagram feeds, but I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen more because this person has been on the same uh, streets now for almost the entirety of this pursuit. But how much like, another spike there he was actually able to avoid that he dodged it with this tire uh, without losing control of the vehicle but oh so wow. many sparks coming out this is crazy <laughs> crazy to see i can't remember the last time i've seen a, a vehicle throw out this many sparks but uh this i mean this is gonna end it, it's it's hard to imagine this is not gonna end in a crash if uh, if they continue uh like this my goodness and all that sparking i desmond we both covered the story of that uh box truck that was coming down the uh, five freeway same situation lost some tires started sparking and, and the whole truck uh, <coughs> went up in flames so we have seen this before yeah. Yeah. and the more he drives the more sparks this car is giving off so it has to be so loud in that car too right oh, to listen yeah. to this metal against the asphalt oh. he goes sparking again um he hits uh, speed bumps in this neighborhood too I that's a terrible he moves sound. the car around quite a bit and again no desire to stop 20 miles an hour right now so again not going very fast but my guess is at, at some point the car's just not going to want to uh go any farther and it's going to come this pursuit will come to an end again look at those sparks uh, back left tire starting to fall off too right des yeah it, it looks like it uh yeah the back left that was that, that was the first one that i noticed oh, uh, shit, it is. Uh, actually that, that was flat I, i'm surprised it's it's held on as long as it has um so yeah, I mean, we believe that there's only one good tire left, and there's not even rubber on, on at least one of those wheels, maybe two of them. They're on, on the passenger side, sparking all over the place. Yeah. Um, so it just making making it look a, a little mad back. Bro, out it's here over, man. Just the, give the, it up. You know, Pico Union area. But once again, Alvarado. You have no Olympic, way to get out. Uh, some of the favorite streets of this suspect. No, it's uh, not, how much, bro. Uh, or is this uh, poor Honda Civic going to have to uh, endure before? Uh, the driver finally he's by the mcdonald's again <laughs> down another narrow dark street and uh you know with sparks flying still and as juan was referring to yeah. you know we have seen situations in pursuits where the sparks start flying and they're down to nothing just a metal and they keep on going i mean albeit slow but still they keep on Look going and we've seen wow. them go for a while yeah. after that's happened holy shit that really is impressive look at that it is definitely metal scraping up against the asphalt there and the sparks it's hard i'm imagining it's got to be difficult not to know that uh even oh, through yeah. the side view mirrors you have to see what's going right, on and right and you feel it the vehicle's hard to control he can't right. steer very well he's been fishtailing you know and again, it's just what's what's the plan here? You know, he's, he's not going to outlive the cops here. I mean, you know, they've already changed out their airship. They've got a fresh tank of fuel, a new helicopter over this. Air three has taken over. So, 
you know, it's it's. Oh, oh so wow! Close. Uh, another spike strip. Uh, oh, yeah, he ran right I, over that I, one. I don't think that's why he was swerving there. I don't think he was able to avoid that one because there was a parked car. It was a pretty narrow street. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 if I, I don't know, he only you know supposedly had one decent tire left. It might be the the, the front driver's side tire uh, that's the only one still left intact. And uh, we'll see if uh, that what, well, that one might have uh, just been punctured <laughs> by the spike strip. People well. about their taxes. Uh, well, so far, we've yeah. seen at least we believe that it's I've been counting fun. seven to eight attempts, uh, and one uh, we believe two successful. Uh -huh. we, we believe two successful uh, spike strips, and uh, it looks like uh, the car is certainly slowing down after that last one. Sparks are still flying, as you can see, but definitely oh. going slower one. And really, bro, about, get the thing oh, off the screen, moron. How much I this is sparking? Done. Is it on fire, Des? Smoking, oh, uh, maybe. I mean, I think that I think the Civic is waving the white flag uh, on this one. It's so I, I think that the Civic has just said, "Please, please let me die." <laughs> um, let's let's see if this is uh, if this is going to be the end of this one. But let's remember that you know this person they believe to be armed and dangerous. So. Uh, we'll just if, if this is the end, uh, let's let's see uh, how how the ending is going here. I'm going to attempt to double in if it doesn't get too dark. Uh, now not really helping too yeah, much as far as seeing a little dark there. We can see the suspect though. Windows down. Definitely some words being uh, exchanged between officers and the suspect uh, near Alvarado and Olympic, pretty close to where we've been most of the the, the time within three or four blocks of uh, this intersection, uh, but still no movement here uh, coming from the driver's side. Now will this pursuit that is now coming to an end turn into a standoff, right? How long will this uh, uh, man in the car or woman in the car, whoever's behind the wheel and, and possibly other passengers, possibly how long will it take, right, before yeah. they come out of the car? So uh, we're going to see what's happening. Oh, we see a hand there, uh, Desmond. What do we see? Here? Yeah, one hand. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I see we're well, seeing some hand motions. Uh, it looked like, uh, you know, maybe, okay, I think we got two hands out here. Okay. So I think the, the, the driver is finally surrendering, uh, yeah. finally realizing oh, that yeah. this is over after are. all the shenanigans here and the, the 4th of July fireworks show coming out of a Honda Civic. Uh, yeah, Axion. Like, uh, the driver finally giving up, and we will see if there are uh, any more people inside of this vehicle. Yeah, their uh, officers are going to be calling out uh, their orders right now to all the occupants inside this vehicle over their loudspeaker, telling them to come out uh, one by one, actually first put their hands out okay. the window. And usually they're walking back Wait, towards the actually officers. Actually, it's really not like they've been that to walk bad. A little ahead and get on their knees. Um, I didn't see them lifting up their shirt to show their waistband, which is right. what they used to do. He's kind of bigger, sure. but he's not. And in this case, especially because right. if they're armed and dangerous, right. we don't know what they could possibly do, um, you know, during that time. But it looks like uh, the person is now on the ground and uh, they will be making that arrest shortly. And we're also waiting to see whether or not more people come out of that car because, again, we have had reports that there may be more people still inside that car after three of them had bailed out um, earlier. But you can see right now the driver who was leading police on a pursuit, being very compliant. Yeah. When he came out of the car, it looked like he was almost a little timid, raising his hands and right. and being a little unsure of himself. Uh, but yep, now face go. down on the asphalt. What do you see, Susie? It looks like a second person is coming out yep. from the passenger yep. side. With a hoodie, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. How many? Uh -huh. The second person will be uh, listening to the officer's orders, walking backwards right now and uh, walking towards the officers with their hands <laughs> up and <laughs> getting closer to the car there. Which, you know, Susie, that's mm -hmm. probably why they had mm -hmm. that first person walk forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, because if the passengers were to come out on the same side, they don't want them close to each other. So line so them up to, to, to give them room yeah, separately. So, uh -huh. so they're not, you know, close to each other in uh -huh. case, God forbid, they hand right. something off or something like that. And what's interesting, Mike, you were telling us earlier, um, this, this, this person we see here with the hands up, uh, if they aren't the person wanted or the person who led police on a pursuit, they could possibly be, be going home tonight, no charges filed, They right? could, yeah. I mean, it, it all Depending. depends on kind of what they tell the police, you know, and what the driver says and what crime this person was allegedly uh, originally involved in. Do they have anything to do with that? Uh, if they were an unwilling participant in this pursuit, that's the terms that LAPD uses. If they were an unwilling participant and oh, they don't shit. have any lots of warrants, then right. it's very possible that they will. They haven't said anything. They're not going to say anything until they clear this. Yo, Spark, am I good?
How do you guys find this? This guy's like a night crawler. He just does this all day. not look like me. Stick one up. <laughs> it's actually what this guy does. It's a fucking McDonald's again. I might have to sub to this. I've never seen this POV before. Saucy might be out of a job, man. This is what I, Saucy, this is the content I pay for, buddy. Alright? This is what I want you to start doing. Don't pay me anything. <laughs> Did you see what they posted? Oh, I forgot a sub. I closed out. Guys, love you. Wait, somebody link it again. Except this prime. It's hard to get any word in with this clown. Loser. Check your history. Oh, yeah. All right, Charlie, I think I is be uh, it for your boy tonight. Sick.
Sub to Saucy? I am sub to Saucy. These wow, lucky you. Got a completely shitty chase to fill in the last two hours of your stream. Fuck your. It wasn't even two. It wasn't even an hour, buddy. It wasn't even an hour. Did you save your Zelda game? Does it not automatically save? It's hard to get any word in with this clown. L. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like how the weapons break. The manual save is saved periodically. Good. The only thing I don't like about this game is the weapons break. All right, I'll be live tomorrow in the morning on Miss Tricky's broadcast. I'm going to cook eggs and shit. And then Brittany will be live. I'll probably be on that. And then I'm going to probably go live and go sh clothes shopping. And then I'm going to be on Russell's stream after that. I think Russell's doing a drinking stream with the boys. Oh, so fun. I'm excited. I'll watch Tricky and Brit, but I am not watching Russell. <laughs> yes, you will, bitch. It's Russell's birthday. Make sure you guys wish Russell a good day. <coughs> <coughs> All right. If y'all enjoy the rest of your night, man. Stay, stay, stay black. Nothing my dog wouldn't do. Nothing my dog wouldn't do.